Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Jeremy, and as you can tell, there is no Lee here today. <laughs> That's because he is actually in bed. He's not feeling well today, so you got me. So he's gonna, he's just gonna uh, stay this one out. I'm uh, painting you two paintings today instead of just one because I got to take up for Lee here and uh, paint Lee's painting. And um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Also, the Fluid Art Experience is coming up. If you haven't got your tickets yet, please go on the website at fluidartexperience.com and check that out. I think I'm ready to get painting. I'm so excited. So. I'm gonna check on Lee and then I'm gonna start painting. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I am super excited about today's pour. It's something that I haven't done in a long time. Yes, it's a ring pour, but I'm going to be wrecking it with a comb. And I haven't done this in a long time and I'm really excited about doing this again. Um, I'm gonna be uh, using my comb and a chopstick. So the colors that I'm using today, as you can see, I already have my base coat down um, and what I'm what colors I'm going to be using today is Prussian blue by Amsterdam I'm going to be using this pearl purple by Amsterdam I'm going to be using 24 karat deco arts metallics gold also going to be using this gorgeous, this is Pearl Turquoise by Arteza. It's stunning, you guys. Also using this Ocean Green by Master's Touch. And this beautiful permanent blue violet. Get your hands on some of this, guys. It's amazing. By Amsterdam. So, now that I've introduced you to the colors, um, I'm going, like I said, I'm going to be doing a ring pour and wrecking it with that comb and that comb and uh, chopstick. Okay, so let's go ahead and start layering my cup. I think I'm going to start out with a little bit of this Pearl Purple by Amsterdam. which I'm in love with. I think next I'm gonna go in with this phalo blue. Next I think I'm gonna go in with some of the gold. Just a slight touch of this gold though. Next, I think I'm going to go in with this beautiful ocean green. Next, I'm going to go in with this this pearl purple and then now I'm going to go in with this delicious permanent this permanent purple violet or violet purple or sorry purple blue violet nice big swig of that Going with a little bit of the gold. Just a tad more. And then I'm gonna go in with this turquoise. This 
Pearl Turquoise by Arteza, which is stunning. Then I'm gonna go back in with this Phalo Blue, I mean Phalo Blue, Prussian Blue. Some more of this Pearl Purple by Amsterdam. And I think I might go in with some of this purple again. Followed by some of this ocean green. And I think that is my beautifully layered cup. All right guys, so now that I have my cup all layered, let's go ahead and get this onto the canvas. That looks great. I am loving what is happening here. This is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and get my comb and I am going to wreck it. Let's see, I think I'm gonna come in like this. Then around. Like that. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go from here right on out. Okay guys, so you know what time it is. It is Tilton Tom.
Okay guys, this is me done. I am in love with this piece. I love the movement through it. I love the colors. I love the gold in the center here. I just think it is incredible. I love it. I'm gonna keep it as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, get my edges, torch it one more time and take you guys in for a close up. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here again. And the reason why I'm here again today is, as we explained, Lee was not feeling good. So I'm gonna be doing two paintings for you today. Um, the colors that I'm using in this painting is going to be this lovely turquoise blue by Amsterdam. It's so pretty. Um, we're going to be using this Naples Yellow Deep by Amsterdam also going to be using this copper mixed with burnt sienna you guys this made like an unbelievable color i mean it is just so beautiful it's like this stunning coppery like oh it's just so pretty and then next um i mixed some of this uh phalo green with this emerald green by amsterdam and it made this beautiful kind of deep emerald color. And then next, I'm using this deep burgundy from Deco Art Americana. And this is a beautiful color too. And also I'm using some pearl white to do my base in. Um, as you can see, I got my canvas already flooded. Um, so let's go ahead and get to layering my cup. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm going to start with the pearl white in the bottom of my cup. Nice little layer there. And then I'm going to do some of the, start with some of the coppery burnt sienna. We're going with this Naples yellow. Next, I'm going to go in with the turquoise blue. Then I'm going to go in with the green, this luscious green. Then I'm going to go in with this deep burgundy. Let's go back in with some of this Naples yellow. Some more of the turquoise blue. Some more of the burgundy. 
little bit more of this coppery deliciousness, burnt sienna. And I think that is gonna be ready for my flip cup. All right. All right, let's do this. Now I'm gonna let it sit for a second so that way all the paint that was in the bottom of the cup goes down to the canvas. And then I'm gonna lip it. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a 16, 16 by 20, I think, or I think it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Loving what's happening. Let's go ahead and stretch this bad boy out. It is tilting time. Such a short time being alive All this hardship and convenience Makes it so hard to make sense I want this now, I want this now And I know it's just a matter of time Before we tumble across the borderline We can't go forward and we can't rewind I want this now
So there you have it. Yes, those two paintings I think came out awesome. I love the first one, the colors in it and the, the wrecking that I did with the comb. I thought the composition came out stunning. Um, I loved it. I, I really, really do love that one. And uh, on the second one, I really like the colors I picked that, you know, that uh, turquoise blue and that mix that copper with that burnt sienna and uh but that green really took over that was so interesting how that green really took over but um yeah i really like that one too um i hope you guys did too uh i will tell lee that you're all thinking of him so if you haven't checked out the fluid art experience uh yet please go check that out at fluidartexperience.com and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and to everybody here at the premiere thank you for being here and we will see you on Sunday. All right, guys, catch you later. So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It's a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level Patreons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial yes where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step so we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel and it means an awful lot to it us it does mean a lot to us so we have some thank yous and at that gold level we have we have trisha west we have terry leshner we have tammy housebrook we have stephanie hancock we've got sharon luffy the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> We've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, aka Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Joan Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love. He's been with us pretty much from day one. Yes. As most of you have. So thank you so very much for being with us. Yes. We really genuinely do appreciate you and your support. It allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And to everyone else that's down here below, we honestly can't thank you enough. Really does mean the world to us. So thanks guys. <laughs>